Hey everyone, thank you so much for those of you who watched my video on garden in a pot. So I, I do want to do an update because some of you did express some interest and I'm, you know, got some new ideals from that. So I also just want to let you know I have not given up on the gardening thing. Uh, it's still going and we actually do have some progress. So we're going to just take a quick tour. We have added a lot more plots than what uh, we started off with. So we'll just kind of work our way back. So this is the jalapeno plant. This thing has grown wonderfully since it was planted. It's a lot taller. Just can't wait to see the little fruit pop up. And we have some onions here. Those have been actually really doing very well. This pot is predominantly onions as well. As you can see, we're again taking advantage of the chicken wire usage. And these guys are pretty, they're growing because this guy was not that tall, not that long ago. And it's only been like a week and a half. So I want you to keep that in mind. I'm gonna move down. Uh, on this pot, first off, we tried a different type of chicken wire. This one's not bad, but I personally, uh, I would wear, it's called chicken something else. It's the type of wire. So um, I like the other kind better. Um, it's a little more sturdier, but this one is getting the job done for now. But we've got uh, the garden beans, also known as snap peas. These things um, have grown crazy. So some of this stuff we started, uh, we just literally planted the seed into the dirt. But then a couple other things, we did that old school, like put it in, uh, like, you know, like in kindergarten, you put it in with a Ziploc baggie with a paper towel. We did that. And so some of them got a jump start, namely the things in this pot did that. So these things haven't been planted very long, but they have grown crazy. Like, I promise you, like even yesterday, they didn't look like that. So it's encouraging to see the growth. And then on this side, we have um, cucumbers. So I'm excited for those because that's one of my favorite vegetables. Uh, we did get some strawberries and these guys we we didn't get them from seed state, but we got them uh, They were already plants. So we just planted the plants and they're in there and Some of my other family they have been monitoring these a little bit better than I have um, But they're growing so I'm excited to see that <laughs> I'm getting that report on those from there uh, for them And then we have the lettuce. This is one of my favorites I can't wait till this one starts getting fruit because I love salads we, we, my family, we, we are salad people. So we've got this guy, he's a lot bigger. And this one was, we didn't put these in the Ziploc baggie. So these are literally from the seed state. Finally, we've got the tomato. This guy, we got him as a plant. And he's coming along, can't wait till we get some tomatoes. So I can stop buying those from the store. Looking forward to that. And we're gonna get some chicken wire for more of these. I did also wanna do an update just to show you kind of the progress we've had with the Ziploc baggies. So, for example, these are the mustard greens, which haven't even been planted yet, but they have grown so much. So if you kind of like, you know, if it's challenging to wait for the seed to appear on the ground, I'd recommend this. It's a good way to see the result. And then when you put it in the ground, you already know you got that jump start. We also have watermelons in here. Oops, I think I have it backwards. Oh, no, I didn't. I had it right the first time. And I don't remember what else was in here. Oh, they fell. I'll have to move them back over. My bad. Cantaloupe. Cantaloupe. Duh, I knew those seeds look familiar. Sorry, I didn't buy these ones. So cantaloupe and then this guy's lavender. So, and then this one, oh my gosh, I call this the beanstalk because it's grown crazy. We got to plant him, so forgive us. This is another one of the garden beans. Um, but this guy's been growing nuts. So we're going to get him a little pot today and he'll be safely nestled in the ground. So again, this is just my update on some of the things that may help you um, get your garden started this or just to also give an update that I'm still going strong with the garden and I will try to give you guys some more updates uh, so you know when we start seeing some harvest <laughs> but thanks again for joining uh, remember like and subscribe and share the video if you think it'll help someone